back to my channel. Today I am so thrilled to show you our new Maytag 5.5 cubic foot washing machine. Uh, if you've been following along, <laughs> I have made videos on my GE set and the many repairs that I've had to do to the washing machine part of that. The dryer is still here and it's still working. Um, but the washer gave up the ghost, finally. Um, and we had to replace it under a lemon warranty during a pandemic. Uh, in case you missed it, I'll uh, link that up there. Uh, um, we got this Maytag uh, as a replacement through Best Buy. And the I think she was the manager, or she was next to the manager, um, allowed the price override. This machine here retails for $850 Canadian. What we got paid on a lemon warranty for our washer was $625 and tax. So this is way outpriced, okay? But they, because they had to come good for the warranty and it's a pandemic, and all of the appliance places are not working right now. They're, they don't consider themselves essential. I don't know how. Uh, just like car needs to be repaired and the auto shops are open. I'm sorry, but the, the appliance stores and repair places need to be open too. They're essential. Um, anyway, so uh, I have the receipt here. And it shows... Um, uh, where is it? Regularly, eight forty nine ninety nine with two hundred and twenty five twenty one approved price override discount. Uh, we don't have a warranty on this one, a Geek Squad warranty. They can't do that right now. But as soon as uh, uh, the second open uh, slot comes up. We, we have 30 days from when uh, Stage 2 opens up in order to get that Geek Squad warranty applied, but they can't do it right now, so we... Okay. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to quickly run through this, uh, through the features list on this, uh, and let you know that it is a upgrade from the one we're replacing. The other one was 4.9 cubic feet. This is 5.5. Okay, so it's a bigger load uh, that it can handle. It is a totally different machine. Um, okay, let's let's go through this here. This is the packet you get in it. Okay, you get a couple of samples. Uh, Tide power pods. Uh, you get one. And that does not go in the dispenser. That goes right into the drum. Um, and down in stoppables, in-wash scent boosters. You get one, one uh, sample of that. Just to, I guess they're trying to sell their, their other stuff. Uh, you get a quick start laundry guide, which has got coupons and um, laundry suggestions and things in it. How to use the laundry packs. See, it goes right in the drum, not in a um, dispenser. Um, but there are some some high value coupons in here, and it's great. Okay, bonus. Uh, there is the usual warranty stuff, a warranty mailing card, or you can go online and register it. Uh, major appliance limited warranty. Uh, Maytags come with a ten year limited parts warranty on the drive motor and the wash basket okay just those two you have to pay labor you have to pay all the other stuff but the parts for those two things are covered for 10 years which is awesome uh, this is the enter guide that was on it uh, estimated yearly energy cost when used with an electric water heater which is what we've got uh, it's $40 a year um, and so on, right? So, um, there's that. Then you get this other stuff. 
This cycle guide, I went to Maytag's website and printed off the cycle guide, which basically goes through all the cycles. Um, the spin, is spin speed, the water level, soil level, temperature, cycle, and cycle details and what you need to wash in that particular cycle. It's, it's a really handy thing to have, so I looked it up and I printed it off and I'll keep it with the laundry stuff. Um, it has a quick start guide here, basically explaining the control panel and features. Uh, it's pretty intuitive, not very much to really uh, understand there copy of a receipt because it's thermal right <laughs> you got to do a, a photocopy in order to get a durable receipt uh, top loader washer manual uh, goes through the drain system and removing the shipping base and all the basic stuff okay how to how to hook up the hoses etc so there's that and what I'm gonna tell you about this washer it is a major upgrade. I have already found, I, I have used it, oh, ever since we got it in this house. <laughs> um, I guess I've, I've done about eight or nine loads now, and I am really thrilled with this thing. It has gotten my clothes cleaner than my GE ever did, ever did. Um, especially my husband's work clothes, they come out clean. It's like, what? <laughs> this is cool. Um, this is a glass lid, tempered glass, and it's, um, a, it's a, like a black, a darkened color. And, um, it is sitting in a, uh, polycarbonate, it's like plastic, but it's a good quality grade plastic frame. And it has these, um, hinges that will rest various places, and it is a soft close. It won't slam down, it just softly closes. So it's great. Um, in the corner here is where you put your liquid bleach. Normal uh, for washers. Uh, this one has a dispenser. And the softener goes, liquid softener goes in here. Liquid detergent goes in here. If you're using powdered detergent, you need to take this tray out and put the powder in the base. Um, we use liquid. I'd rather not have uh, coarse powder scratching up the innards. Um, we prefer using liquid. Um, this is a blank. Okay, it just basically balances. This is all measured, pre-measured. There's a max limit right here on, on both trays. And if you take and push down on both of these tabs here, you can remove the tray for cleaning. Okay? And that is where they're saying take that out. If you're using powder, you take this part out and just put the powder in the base. Okay? Same for getting it back in here line it up right and then it goes back in okay so what we're gonna do I am going to actually put some laundry on so you can hear this thing it is a lot quieter than our old GE as well so I pour my liquid in there now this is a high high efficiency washer as they usually are now and um, I do have high efficiency uh, detergent here which is low suds you don't need as many suds for the efficiency now um, I do not use liquid softener I choose to use dryer sheets um, but it, had I used liquid softener I'd put that in there now and it will dispense it at the appropriate time okay now I'm going to take this off the tripod and I'm going to show you the inside of this thing. This is cool. Okay. As you can see, it does not have a big agitator taking up the middle third of this drum, which leaves a lot more room 
for clothes and water and movement, okay? I love this thing. Now what this agitator on the bottom does is it tumbles the clothes around on the bottom of the tub. Like it's, it's moving the actual clothes to help clean them, okay? And the old style uh, washers, you used to lay the clothes around the outside edges, trying to balance them around the, the drum, and by laying it sideways, okay, around the agitator. This type of washer, with this kind of an agitator, the instructions tell you to simply drop okay don't don't stretch it out like that that's not how it works you simply take your clothes drop them around the edges like that because that allows it to agitate the way it needs to if you lay it out straight then it's got a lot more work to do to agitate the way it does all right so let me put this back on the tripod and I'll finish filling the washer and we'll get it moving all right okay here we go again All right, now here is the simple back panel, okay? Uh, many uh, categories to choose from. Bulky items, which will help fill the tub um, because it's bulky. It already knows you need a high water mark for that. Towels, whites, heavy duty with heavy soil. That is excellent for work clothes. Um, Look, I found the definition of normal. It is a setting on the washing machine. <laughs> uh, there is quick wash for light soil. Delicates, which is gentle agitation. Wrinkle control. There is a separate drain and spin. And that's on top of the drain and spin in each of these other programs. Okay. And there is something called clean washer with a fresh. Now a fresh is their product that they use to clean the washer. But in the uh, product manual it says if you don't have a fresh product, uh, you can use one cup of vinegar and set it to here and it will it will clean and sanitize the washer and they they suggest you do this once a month and it what it does is it it keeps all the uh, build up of scale kind of like a coffee maker um, it will it will get through all the piping and everything and help keep it clean and ready to do its best job for you okay I have not done this yet because we haven't even owned it a month. Maybe a week and a half. Um, anyway, sense, wash, rinse, spin, and done. These light up in turn. Um, there is an on and off switch. Okay, you can just, you can turn it off. That used to bug me with the GE. I'd always get up in the middle of the night and I'd see those little LEDs flashing at me. It was always on. This, you turn it on and off. Okay, you can choose your temperature. Hot, cold, cool, warm. And if you press and there's no light, then it's tap cold. Lights are off, okay? So I'm going to put it to warm. I like warm water. Options, you can choose fabric softener to let it know you've got fabric softener loaded. Or an extra rinse if you've got some heavy duty stuff like a blanket or something in there and you want an extra rinse to make sure it's all out. Or you can alternately shut them both off. 
Okay, deep fill, you can medium fill or high fill it, okay? So if you've got bulky items, the high will be selected. There you go. See, on bulky, it automatically selected high. Okay, I'm going to go to... Um, I'm going to go to quick wash, okay? Um, there isn't a whole, whole lot in here. Not even a third of the capacity. So I'm not going to mess with the uh, fill level. It will sense how much water it requires uh, when it starts up. And you hold to start this, but it's also a pause button. Say it goes off balance or there's a problem with the machine that it alerts you to. You can touch this and pause it. It will unlock the lid so you can open the lid and rearrange the load manually. Uh, and then you close the lid and you push play again. Okay? And go, right? So when you want to start up your 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 stuff, you've got the, the washer uh, loaded, you've got the detergent and whatever in there you want, you've chosen your cycle, which one you want, you press and hold this one till it goes across. Let go. It'll lock the lid. And it'll start. It starts to slowly just spin, spin, spin. Just a little bit. It's judging the weight of the basket. And how many clothes you got in there kind of thing. It's, it's figuring out the water capacity needed. I love that this is a clear lid. That also used to bug me with the GE. Because I never knew what was happening inside. It locked the lid and I had no idea what was going on. This at least I can see. Now what I can tell you is sometimes this has gone uh, using hot water. This glass will steam up and this is not totally sealed back here at the edge okay so the steam will creep up here and uh, it's a little annoying but see what it's doing it's putting water in turn it a little put more water in now what this initial burst of water is doing is going through the dispenser and washing in the the liquid detergent and evenly dispersing it through the load. I love that I can see everything. I know what's going on in the washer. This is kind of different. <laughs> The motor just kicks in when it needs to. So what it's doing right now is saturating the clothes evenly, flooding in the detergent, and then it will top up to make it Buoyant enough to move the clothes in the bottom. I hope you can see this. I don't know how well it's translating to the film, the video. But I will take um, little snippets here and there throughout the cycle so you can see what it actually does and how it sounds. I find this is quieter than my GE. Seriously.
if you look on the back panel it is right on the wash symbol so as the program moves along it will move to rinse and spin and then eventually it'll light up done and then the lid will unlock and you can take it out okay here we go see what it's doing That is equivalent to beating it on a rock. I love this thing. Our GE never used to do this. It would just agitate it back and forth, back and forth. This actually rolls it around underneath and uses the clothes to clean. That is the tail end of the rinse spin. It is almost done. And it really cranks it up at the end here so that you use less energy drying. And it's really not that loud. Coast to a stop and when it completely stops it will release the lid and I can put it in the dryer. That's how easy that is. Reverse thrusters. <laughs> Just trying to slow it down using the motor. Take a while to coast otherwise. Last sucking of the water out of the pump. Done, and it unlocked the lid. So now we can open it. They do suggest you leave the lid open to let the interior dry out overnight. If you're not putting in another load, that is. And even at 5'2", I have absolutely no, re no problem reaching the bottom of the, the tub. I'm reaching right there without really straining much at all. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. We were a little gun shy getting another computerized job, but yeah, it's the way of the future, so best get used to it. I just hope this isn't another lemon. Maytag has a reputation, even more so than GE, and they've been around like, Maytag's been around forever. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I will keep you up to date on how this thing goes, but so far I am thoroughly impressed, 
and uh, yeah, very happy with this. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I do appreciate you sticking around. I wanted to show you exactly what it looked like and sounded like working and how easy it is to control this. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.